welcome back to the harsh and unforgiving world of post -phenom. Where, last time, we were working on a little tree farm here. But as you can see, things have already gone wrong. And this is mainly due to the fact that, yeah, gravity happens in this world. So what we're going to have to do is come and try and come up with a, a better version of this little tree farm here. Let me, let me try and chop these down. And maybe what we can do is show you what the real problem is here. Okay, so if I change some of these bone into bone meal, this might be too much, this might not be too much, who knows. And then try and attack this front one here with bone meal, because that's what you do, you attack a, a, a tree with bone meal. Uh, and then we'll stop and watch and see what happens here. Now what's going to happen is at some point this little... Oh, we've got no, no power left. That's another problem that we've got here, but we will go into that. That's... Oh, just to be awkward, it's done it the way that actually works properly. Alright, hang up, we're going to have to clear this one out. I swear there's something in the Minecraft game that picks up whether you're recording or not and tries its best to like work its way around any bugs that are happening just so that we can really try and show you up. Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully this time it will take the block out first and not the leaves. Come on, come on, little machine. You can do it. You've got some energy. You've got some work. Okay, so there. You saw all them all go at once. That means none of the saplings went into the system. And in fact, they all got caught up here. Uh, and it, in fact, some of this wood here didn't really get converted into the right type. Uh, some of it gets into the wrong places. For some reason, the saplings are not getting passed to my burner here. And all in all, it's just not going well. But Landstrider has got hold of me in the comments and gone, hey, I can see you're going to have a problem here. Here's a suggestion for making it better. And that suggestion is the farming station. But the thing you might notice about that straight away is it takes an awful lot of diamonds to get that going. Uh, and that, that's not really... Well, it's not great, but it's not terrible. Thankfully... Before I started uh, recording here, I spent some time shuffling all my carbon. Well, not all my carbon. It was something like 48 stacks of carbon over here making some diamonds and ended up making myself a whole load before realizing I had already made myself a whole load of diamonds. So that, that's good. We're going we're to keep these here. The other thing I needed was that sword. Don't, don't throw that away. Uh, so down here somewhere, I should have been making some pulsating irons brilliantly. Brilliantly. Yeah, no, I was making them brilliantly, of course. What, what, how else would I be making them? Uh, we want two of these, and we want to pop these in a nice little pattern around there to make these pulsating crystals. Boy, yeah, because that is the first ingredient here. The other one we want is this Z Logic controller. This is something that we have made quite a few of, and I'm going to go have a look in my box and see if I have a spare one. No, I've only got a Franken zombie. I, want, I need the one in front of that. That's okay, though. We can just go around and get that fixed. Alright, so that's working away. What's the next thing we need to make? We should have machine chassis in the uh, corner here, brilliantly. And also impressed that I made it through that sentence without uh, tripping up on machine chassis. Uh, the next thing we need, of course, is a hoe. Because everyone knows if you're going to do any sort of farming, you need a hoe. I only have one stick here. I'm going to waste this little bit of rubber wood here. Normally, we should put it in inside a sawmill so we can get the rubber from it and get the number of planks that you got just from doing that. But, yeah, whatever. We're just going to do it like this beautiful oh wow i got an achievement off of that should we have a look in the achievement tree and see which ones i've actually inadvertently done here oh look there's there's all sorts of new stuff here that i've not even considered looking at look after we've got the cow tipper it can come down here and do the keep your cool uh wow okay that's, that's some stuff, isn't it? In fact, this this is something I should have done probably a little while ago. Because as you can see, I am constantly overheating. But let's go have a look and see if that Z-Logic controller is done. Alright, so let's just walk over to the crafting bench here. And through the magic of any eye, I should be able to shift... Uh, what am I missing? Electric steel. Cool. And in the space of five minutes, I have destroyed the state of my inventory. Isn't that good? Wow, it's really not doing the, work the way I want to do it. Okay, let's see if we can do it like this. Let's put these in here and these ones around here. Uh, that and there. And finally, the diamond hoe. Brilliant. I wonder why it is a lot of the Ender IO stuff won't do the whole shift click completion. I don't know, but let's go out to the little farming area over here and see what I can rip up and make better. Okay, so according to some of the wikis I've been watching, this is not a thing I need. Uh, we probably won't need this either. We're definitely going to need some power and we're going to need some item delivery. I also believe that it needs to sit on top, unlike the... Uh, 
if you if you mind, thank you. Uh, unlike this planter here, which needed to sit underneath, so I'm just going to go through, break some blocks, and try and get access to everything we need. Now, how are we going to poke everything into the same bottom line here? I didn't bring any of the materials I needed. Oh, brilliant. Okay, I'll be back in a second. All right, I came back with a whole load of conduit stuff, and I've discovered something crazy. Look how these all connect up here, and if I go and pop that in there, who knew you could run multiple conduit through the same block? I, I sure didn't. This, this is... I'm going to have to go out and redesign my entire base now, knowing that this is a thing. I just like, what? Okay, so this needs to go in and out. I believe this just needs to go out, but we're, we're going to put it on the in and out because, you know, it does all sorts of stuff. I think it should do the entire process for me. Now, it says no seeds, so what I'm going to do is pop these in, all of these, and it needs an axe. Well, I've got my di I've got some diamonds on me. Where's Robert? Or Twitch Yongi the fifth. I don't know. Twitch Yongi five, sorry. I, I know what I'm saying here, really. Okay, let's go over to this craft bench here and put in a diamond axe. Why not? I mean, affluent or what, yeah? Let, let's use that and come over here and see if this will do the right stuff for me. I'm kind of hoping it will. I really wish I had a bed on me. So there's the diamond axe in the right place. It's got no power. This should be okay, though. Let's pump in some, some blocks here and see if that's going to pass power over to it. Okay, so it's complaining about no power despite having lots of power being pumped into it. So I think what I'm going to have to do is go off and find a better power source and I will be back with you guys uh, when it's safe and sunny again. Ah, run to my bed. Okay, so I've returned with a slightly better type of power, but there's a little skeleton over there that I really don't want... Oh, oh, time is bad. That I really don't want coming over here and ruining my day. So I'm just going to take him out. Oh, he's gone and hidden. Okay, we're going to have to go in with the rapid fire. All right, are we ready for the death, guys? Oh, no, he burnt to death. Woo. Okay, that's good. We'll, we'll take that arrow and we'll claim it as a victory prize. Yeah. Okay, let's come over here and see what's going on. This still says no power, but I brought a whole load of this methyl methacryolate. Yep, I said that quickly. Uh, and we will see what happens here. No power still. I, I'm not sure where the power's going if it's not going into there. Uh, always active. Yeah, no, that should be good. And a signal color red. Now, is this something we can play with here? Uh, brown, blue, purple, cyan. There's going to be a red here somewhere. I don't know why it's on red, not green or whatever there we go red does that does that help is that a thing that actually helps or have i just made things worse so no i hadn't made it any worse that that was thankful the problem was one that this actually if i take this out only puts out 20 rf per tick and then if i then come over here and have a look at what this power consumption is you can see it says base use at the top what do you know it's 20 rf per tick so what was happening was where this was empty this was producing exactly what it needed to run, so the power was getting drained immediately, and it was just coming up no power. That's why it looked so bad. So all I did was throw a double layer capacitor in there to get a really small upgrade on what's going on. I've really got to find out where that bee nest, beehive is, that, so I can go and get rid of it. it. It really annoys me jumping down there. And, as we just saw there, it's working beautifully. Uh, using the power of these double conduits down here, all the items are being drug out and put into here. That's going nice. And hopefully, when we get a bit of an overflow, saplings are going to end up flowing in there. But it's going to take time. It's going to take some time. I would like to actually extend the amount of dirt out and things like that. But that's going to mean a little bit of a rework. The next thing that I want to do, you'll remember just by looking in the achievements a second ago, we had figured out that we had not done a camel pack. And I am almost always constantly on the point of overheating. So I think actually what I'm going to do is use these eight bits of leather that I have kicking around here. Come over here and get these three bits of glass. That's glass. One glass pane. Okay, one, two, three. That's cool. Uh, we still... Still don't have Robit following us, which was what we meant to do. Hey, Twitch Yongi5, will you please follow me? But actually, at the moment, I want to use your crafting bench. Thank you. Uh, and I want to turn him into that. Did you guys just see that we could turn quite clear, what, quite clear glass into normal glass in the crafting bench? I did not know that was a thing. We're going to have to use that again at some point, no doubt. Uh, now, if we do this and put a single glass bottle in, we're going to end up with a camel pack with no water in it. But that's okay. We can go and fill it up. Boom! We got the environment. Keep your cool. Environment. Keep your cool achievement. You coming, Robit? Cool. So the, <laughs> the reason Robit ends up not following me around is also tied in with all this. Can I not just... 
Ah, uh, can I can I do it like this? Obviously, we need to craft the water into there rather than ah. Oh, that's that's majorly unfortunate. Let's try it like this and see if we can do it this way. I kind of really hope we do. And I get the glass bottle back. Ah, oh, that that's great. That's twenty five percent. Should have done it with the actual water bottle anyway. But if we do this twice, that's cool. Yeah, the reason that I don't have um, Robit following me around a lot of the time is because if I go down into my cool cave over there, uh, which is where I go when I'm overheating, I end up with uh, Robit actually uh, drowning, and that's not great. That's not great. Oh. Is my temperature dropping already? My temperature is dropping. The amount of water in there is also dropping. Let's keep an eye on it. Okay, what I'm going to do now is keep two glass bottles on me at all times, because, you know, that's going to be good. All right, I'm going to run away and find out exactly what it is I want to do next. I think I want to actually... Let me uh, go in here. Have a start at doing some of this civilization quest line. Because we've not really touched any of this other than getting a cow and stuff like that. So yeah, I'd like to find out these ancient cultures and stuff like that. So, let's go on the magical mystery tour of let's see what happens when we do this quest that I have no idea what's going to go on. So I want five ink sacks. I know, I know that much. In fact, I just took far too many out of that. And 30 bits of paper. Now this is for this Norman one, so we submit that. Got everything. Now, the Norman Broadsword does two more points of damage than my base level sword does. But, because it's empowered, I get the, that extra plus two. So the sword immediately becomes equal tying. But I can also then put extra stuff onto my Ender Sword here. And get all sorts of extra power. So I'm not going to go for the sword. The chest plate has a similar state of affairs. Plus, you know, my chest plate is actually the slot that I'm putting my camel pack on. And my jet pack and stuff like that. So I'm not going to get that. The Norman Pickaxe. No, I've got a better pickaxe, so I'm going to go for the Norman Tapestry. Which I presume is the Bayer Tapestry. Right? That, that was the Normans, wasn't it? Coming over in 1066 and shooting our king in the eye. Something like that. I, I remember something. Let's see if we can put it on the wall. It looks like a painting to me, so I'm just going to kind of click. Ah, oh, what? What happened there? Oh, I've, I feel cheated. I feel cheated. Was I supposed to put that on top of a scroll? Okay, what happens if I click this? Oh, wow. 26 pages. All right, guys. I'm going to come back after I've read this, and then I'm going to give you a nice, succinct little sum up. <laughs> so I had to read through the scroll here, and this basically tells you... Well, the first section of it tells you about all the different people you'll find inside a Norman village. So, like, dame is the word for a lady. She lives at the front of the house with her husband. Ra rah, rah, okay? Uh, you've got the famier, which is the male farmer, and the boucherion is the lumberman. Uh... Excuse my terrible French. But basically, this is all like the different words that people use in French to describe the people. Because that's who the Normans are. They were the French from Normandy. Um, the next page is all about the village centres. You get the fort and the abbey and, and things like that. And then the last page, or the last section, is about the village inhabitants. There we go. Uh, no, no. Uninhabited villages buildings, sorry. And then... Norman items, food items. If we go to the back page, it will tell us the villagers, the buildings, and the items. Boom. All of them covered. If you would like to know more about this stuff, I recommend Wikipedia. Because whilst that did go into um, a little bit of detail, it didn't go into great detail. Now, the tapestry. I went and had a pop in a creative world and tried placing it on all sorts of places and all sorts of beings and all sorts of walls and all sorts of stuff. And it just wouldn't place anywhere. So I'm going to say that it's bugged. But I still want it for for create uh, completionist reasons so i am gonna go into game mode one did i type that right i did type that right brilliantly and then let's go in and pull pull one of these out the norman tapestry there we go i don't know why i had to go through that and there we go i'm literally just claiming that for the completionist reasons if you don't like it well sorry purists we're just gonna have to deal with it Okay, with that taken care of, I think we're just going to kind of cruise our way through these next quests. You can see here I got myself a whole load of paper and a whole load of ink sacks. The ink sacks were nice and easy. If I come up here and have a look... Uh, they were here a second ago. There we go. Uh, they're just carbon black, and carbon black is just water with... I've gone the wrong way. Water with a carbon molecule on the front. Brilliant. It, it's nice and easy. So I made up all that stuff. We're going to come through here. Manual submit. Ooh, what are we going to do? Mud brick mold. Ragazulia. I presume that's food. I'm going to get the Hindu statue. 
because I want to make a nice little display somewhere, right? Yeah, of course I do. Uh, coming out, the Mayan culture. Mayan culture? Mayan? Mayan? I don't know. Which one's your favourite pronunciation for that? Let me know down below. Uh, the Book of Sadhu, complete Mayan script. What is the Book of Sadhu? Uh, we could also have the Mayan carving, which I think I kind of want that. So we're going to submit that. We're going to go for the carving. All right, sweet. Once again, I'm going to clear this off my bar and go for the next one, which is Japanese culture, which I believe a lot of people out there think themselves experts on. I'm sure all these self-proclaimed experts aren't, but we're going to just let you guys have your thing there. Uh, are we going to have a bow or a tachi? Uh, no, I don't think we're going to do any of these. The chest plate, I suppose I'm going to have some undon. Whatever, whatever undon is. Oh, it's rotten. Straight away, rotten. Ah. But there we go. We completed all this quest line here. What's this? Rebuilding repeatable quest. Now that you know about the cultures that you'll be introducing back into the world, it's time to gather the resources needed to start a village. Does this include villagers? Oh, no. Look, we've got some protein here. So I don't... 500? 500 protein? Man, I've, I mean, I've been degrading all my food down. Let me show you. So what I've been doing is I've been taking rotten food like this. And believe me, I've been getting a lot of rotten food from down below. Like, this is the back door of my kitchen down there. Uh, so, yeah, I put, put it in there. And in here, you'll have some protein get, getting made. Uh, we then come along here and dump it all into this box here where I only have 191. Man, 191. Okay, well, what else do we need? Some stone bricks. A thousand stone bricks. Okay, some normal bricks, some sand, some gravel, some oak wood, some wood plaque. Oh, wow. Okay, well, like, the oak wood and stuff like that, we can go put in the farm and just make it all turn over. The sand we can get from the, uh, the pulverizer. It's those bricks, as always. Oh, uh, no, I'm in the wrong box. As always, it's going to be the bricks. Like, I don't have a clay machine. I don't know how to make clay. I'll be back in a sec. So I started up the massive rebuild fund. You can see here we're getting the protein and the stone bricks on the go. We've got the gravel and the sand. Uh, bricks and oak wood are the things that are left out here. The brick, uh, the stone, sorry, stone bricks. I'm literally just taking three out of here, uh, coming over here and potting, popping them all in and just letting these cook whilst I'm off doing other things. The other things I have been doing, you'll see over here, let's just jump around a bit. I've ch Oh, wow. Well, it'll be interesting to see how this deals with this. But you'll see that I've changed the vast majority of the saplings here into oak. Because, you know, that that's what we are after at the moment. And I just had so much rubber. You can see by the amount of wood that I've got here. Uh, all this was filled with rubber. It was horrendous. Uh, I now have a chest full of rubber back at home. Which we're going to mainly turn into power devices. Uh, this here... I've decided that we're going to use this to help make the clay. Uh, oh, look, I did put a bed down. Great. Uh, now, how are we going to make clay from this harvesting machine? Let's have a quick look in here. Okay, I put some in here. I will explain that in a second. The first thing I'm going to explain, you see soya beans not being used here? I've been beating my head against this problem for oh, all of five minutes now. Uh, I went off to another creative world and figured out what we could do here. And it turns out the thing that I was actually missing was it needs pre hoed ground to use the soya beans for some reason. I, I don't know why. I'm guessing it's just some sort of oversight by the person that programmed it. So there we go. Uh, I'm actually going to put these in here and hopefully we'll get around to harvesting all the stuff and then at some point we'll get this feeding back in but I don't have the raw materials to do so okay how are we going to be making clay let's get a quick sleep it is actually all to do with this sludge stuff here if I type in clay into me NEI here we go to clay block you can see that you can actually make from a sludge boiler from a but one bucket of sludge, an entire clay block. I'm not sure what the 16.95 is. I'm hoping that's not the chance to do it because that would that would be horrible. Uh, in fact, if I remember the, correctly, the sludge boiler actually outputs a whole load of stuff. But I'm hoping that we can use this tank to fill up, fill up here. That's great. How much do we got? Three. Okay, let's go make the, uh, the sludge boiler. I'm not sure exactly what it is we need for this. I've kind of assumed that I can make it without even looking at the recipe. Uh, let's do that now then. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, I'm glad that I assumed that I could do as well as I did because I'm going to be able to do as well. Uh, so we need the furnace, redstone, uh, some iron ingots, some plastic sheets, bucket and machine chassis. 
And the sludge boiler has been made. Awesome. Right, where are we going to pop it? Maybe let's replace this guy's head here. Uh, I'm, I'm sure we can put him somewhere more suitable. Maybe on top. Wow, he doesn't want to... Come on. You can do it. Any second now. No? Okay, we're going to use an axe instead. Okay, brilliant. Well, I, I was starting to worry that maybe this was actually not going to come through at all. Uh, how do we put the sludge in there? Can we do it just like that? We can't do it just like that. All right, brilliant. Oh, oh, e, ah, poisoned. Maybe we want to put this somewhere else. So this system is slow, janky, doesn't quite work how I want it to. The soya beans I had to take away, because you see I had, well, I did have some filters here since losing, so, anyway, I, I will explain that. But I had some filters on the go, and the soya beans just completely ignored it all and covered everything up. Now, some wheat did get harvested, as some wheat has been harvested here, but you'll notice no seeds. Uh, so I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing that. Like, you would expect it to get put down... Is it in here? Is it? Is this something that's happened? No, okay, that's not something that's happened. You would expect it to get put down here into here, but just no, that's not how it's working for some reason. Uh, and the harvester doesn't seem to like to do stuff when I'm looking. You'll see how it was there, and then I went down and it did stuff. The same with the planter. The planter doesn't work unless I go over there somewhere. I don't know, super janky. But anyway, uh, other things to show you. All this wood here, we're gonna we're gonna take this back and go. Well, we're gonna go down here, just to wander all our way back up to the top, because obviously this is where we keep the stores. I think I'm gonna have to put a little teleport point up here. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do, offload all this wood here. That's uh, not even halfway yet. Not even halfway. Sludge boiler. It's not really a viable plan. Uh, as previously suspected, it is a 32% chance of dropping the clay uh, and then you get all this other stuff instead. Now, I'm going to keep keep using this. This is going to be a thing that keeps happening. But the best place to find clay, or the most guaranteed one, uh, if we come in here, is actually going to be via this injection chamber. Now, the chemical injection chamber is something that we do under... Uh, that's the enrichment chamber under this mechanism stuff and it's going to be very similar to that but it is going to have to be something we're going to have to do next time because i've run out of time and i'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure guys i will see you next time where we're going to do all that stuff that i just said probably make the clay try and get all this um refund build a uh, refund build rebuild fund <laughs> Yeah, that's all it. Uh, and yeah, it should be all good and fun. I will see you then. Bye!